This is a one heck of a turn. I cannot see a thing. I'm gonna pull out. Ooh! Yeah, remember in the last video when I said mistakes will happen? Well, I just hit a Tesla. <laughs> Hello, everybody! Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. It's Bryce! Once again here on the channel, today we're going to be checking out Utah because Utah has finally been released. This is just going to be a little first impressions video. Um, I haven't seen very much other than, you know, some screenshots and stuff of Utah and uh, some of the Utah streams that SES Software has been posting with some brand new DLC. Literally just been released. I'm recording this on Thursday, so it's, it's only been out for a couple of hours now. And this video comes out tomorrow, so it'll be Friday. So hopefully you all are having a fantastic Friday. <laughs> I know I will be, that's for sure. I'm going to be playing this DLC a ton. But of course, uh, let's go ahead and fire up the engines here. Today we're going to be taking a load of fireworks from Kingman, Arizona to Ogden, Utah. Yep, so we're going to pass through Salt Lake City. I, I wanted to get a truckload to... Salt Lake City, but I couldn't find any nearby where I was. Uh, we stopped the last episode in Las Vegas, and I couldn't find anywhere where we could. Um, we couldn't. I couldn't find any loads to Salt Lake City, which really stunk. So I went on down here to Kingman, and I found this nice little load of fireworks here. Um, and yeah, so we're just gonna take a load of fireworks on up to Ogden. It's just north of Salt Lake City, so we're gonna drive through Salt Lake City on this route. It's the number one selling product right now on Steam, which is awesome. I always love it when these Truck Simulator DLCs come out. Um, they're always the number one selling product on Steam, and people are like, well, why are people buying a state and a <laughs> or a map for this truck game? And I'm always like, well, we, us truck simulator players, we like our truck games. But yeah, so I'm going to pull on out here. We're going to get onto this road here. And we'll hop onto the interstate. We'll hop on a US 93. Right. And once we're in Las Vegas, I'll sort of update you guys. We're just going to take Interstate 15 all the way up to Ogden. So it should be pretty exciting. We'll get a nice, good look at what Utah is like here for our first impressions Stay video. Right. I am super excited. I hope you guys are as well. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I cannot wait. So let's go ahead and start driving here. And I will see y'all in a little bit once we are near Las Vegas. Alrighty. Finishing up our drive through Las Vegas now. We're going to be turning right up ahead onto Interstate 15. We'll take Interstate 15 all the way down to Ogden. We'll take the first exit for Ogden. But yeah, here we go. So I do apologize for the jump cut, but I figured um, you guys are all here clicking on the video to see Utah and my first impressions of Utah. So we might as well just skip over driving through Las Vegas and all that because uh, no one's here to see that. We're here to see Utah. And so we're going to turn right up ahead and we will enter Utah. Check out that plane doing stunts. Oh, dang. I thought that was a plane crashing for a second there. That's, that's awesome. There's a sign, Salt Lake, to the right. Let's do this. Turn right. So previously right here, this is where the game's map ended. And now it ends no more. Oh, this is sweet. All right, let's go ahead and merge here onto the highway. Looks like we're pretty good. Just get right in front of this guy. We'll have to break a little. Sorry, but I want to see Utah, man. The way this route goes, if I'm not mistaken, is... Let's see if we can get over here. Um, maybe... You can let us over? Thank you. Sorry, I just don't want to get stuck behind this slow van. I mean, he's not even doing 60. So the way this route goes, I believe... We're, oh, so now you speed up. Okay, alrighty then. After I've already switched lanes. Let's get back over. So the way this route goes is we're going to enter Arizona for a split second here. Go through some beautiful canyons. There's some beautiful scenery along this route. Hopefully it's represented well in the game. And then we'll enter Utah. Um, but right now, just driving through uh, the last little sliver here of Nevada. Looks like we got some road work up ahead, so we're going to slow down. Speed line 75. Really nice. Oh, we're going to have to merge over. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Good, clean merge break because there's a lot of merging going on 
Uh, you're, you're gonna stop. Sorry, bud. Okay, so we've already hit some road construction here. Entering Virgin River Canyon already. Speed limit 55. And wow, check out the scenery right here. They weren't kidding when they said this was a canyon. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Coming around this bend right here. There's the Virgin River, so this all this must be the canyon formed by it. We'll go ahead and make a lane change on over so we're not the slow guy in the left lane. Absolutely beautiful scenery. So there's not really anything on the agenda for me to talk about in today's Truck Simulator episode. So if you're here tuning in to hear my thoughts on life and everything like that, it's not really this episode of Truck Simulator. Um, and the main reason for that... Oh, I guess we were in Arizona. Utah, Arizona, Port of Entry. So we're entering Utah up ahead. I must have missed the Arizona sign. If there even was one. So, looks like there is a... There's the... There it is! There it is! Welcome to Utah. And we can bypass the way station. Perfect. Alright, I will bypass it. Thank you. Let's check this out. Port of Entry. Oh, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Utah! This is sweet. Well done. Check out that port of entry. Looks great. Anyways, as I was saying, there's nothing really on the agenda for me to talk to, the, uh, to, talk to you guys about today. Normally, when I play Truck Simulator, I will uh, sit and talk as I, as I uh, drive and, wow, getting some lag spikes there. Because we enter St. George next two exits. But normally I'll sit. St. George discovered! And we've got a Steam achievement. Beehive State 1 out of 10. So that must be the achievement for discovering all of the cities in Utah. Which we definitely will do. First impressions though. Wow, this is stunning. Let's hope it's optimized a bit better. Because I'm getting some frame rate drops. <laughs> I remember when New Mexico launched. It was a little laggy at first as well. This is so cool. Check out this scenery all around us. <laughs> As I'll try to say again, um, normally when I play Truck Simulator, I, I generally have like something that I, uh, that I sit and talk to you guys about while I'm driving to make things a little bit more interesting. That's not going to be the case this episode, though, because I'm here to talk about Utah and everything that I'm seeing, and um, St. George is looking pretty impressive, I'm not going to lie. Check out this little, like, cut through in the highway. That's pretty cool. Grand Canyon National Park, Zion National Park, this exit right here. That's pretty cool. That's a State Highway 9 State left. towards Hurricane. First impressions, I mean, it definitely looks like Utah. I'm not going to lie, they got the feel of the state down so far. This is exactly kind of how I remember Utah being. As I mentioned in the last Trek Simulator video, we went to Utah over the summer, and um, that was a lot of fun. Just taking in the scenery, absolutely stunning. I like this. It's a different feel than Washington and Oregon, but yet it's, it, even though it's a desert, kind of, <laughs> it's still different from New Mexico. And really, if you think about it, Utah is a... Uh, oh, Cedar City. Alright, discovered another city here, Cedar City. If you really think about it, though, Utah is a very, very, very diverse state. I'd argue that each corner of the state is different from all the other corners. So, if they can kind of capture that look and feel down as well, I think that'll be really cool. So, it appears we're coming up on uh, Interstate 70 up ahead. That goes east. I'm going to slow down here for some construction. What is this? This isn't... Looks like they have some construction here. That's pretty cool. We're coming up, though, on uh, 70 east, so you can take this to get Selena, Moab, all those other places. And eventually, once Colorado is added, you should be able to take that to Denver. So we're coming up on an exit now for Historic Cove Fort. I am starting to remember this area. There should be... I wonder if it's in the game. There should be like a truck stop 
on the right. Let's see. Chevron? Maybe there is. Let's go see. Let's go take a little detour here and see. See if that truck stops on the right. Because we mm -hmm. stopped and ate lunch up here. That would be pretty cool if it's in the game. Um, and there's uh, also like a little attraction down here that you can see as well. Let's see if this is the... Uh, is this a truck stop I was talking about? Finding new route. Looks like okay. it. Let's find a new route. Never mind. I'll find a new route. Historic Cove Fort. This might be the truck when stop possible, I was talking about. Make a U-turn. Yeah, actually, it might be. Yeah. Okay, I recognize this. So we stopped and parked maybe like right there where that truck is and ate lunch there. It's nice to see something that we visited not too long ago. So well represented in the game. Okay, let's find a new route. Alright, and if my memory serves me well, we should just be able to go straight through this intersection in order to get back on the interstate. Man, they even included little details like this little cattle crossing, uh, crossing guard here. Man, SCS has put a lot of work into this. I like this. Yep. Keep going straight. We'll get back on the interstate. Sorry for the little detour, but I kind of wanted to see how that area turned out, and it looks pretty nice. So, we should be coming up now on, like, sort of the Salt Lake City metro area, I guess. I see the highways now three lanes and there's an exit for price they definitely captured the look and feel of this of this highway though um only little thing uh that is missing i'd say is uh this entire stretch of interstate 15 has a what's called a high occupancy vehicle lane hov lane uh, in the far left lane. That doesn't seem to be represented in the game, but really there's no real reason to include it in the game, honestly, because trucks can't use it, and so it would just be a giant lane that trucks can't use, and uh, nobody likes that. <laughs> One of the interesting things about Salt Lake City, and I'm noticing they've represented that in the game as well, is that all the streets are numbered. So they're a giant number according to the block number, and then um, which sort of side of the city they're on, north, south, east, west, which they seem to have uh, put that into the game pretty well. I'm liking a look at this. This is definitely downtown Stay Salt Lake City up ahead, isn't it? Yep. So it looks like we're going to be continuing straight. This is the intersection with Interstate 80. We're going to keep going straight here. We're going to pass, just pass by, there it is, downtown Salt Lake City on the right. We're going to keep on driving on up to Ogden, which there's a sign for it right there. And this is definitely how I remember left. downtown Salt Lake City. Now let me slow down a little bit so I'm not speeding. Quick lane change there. There's Salt Lake City. Man, they've really done this well. There's the uh, State Capitol building up there. You can kind of just barely see it there out of the corner of the view. Nice wide highway here. Four lanes. As we approach... Ogden up ahead. I believe this exit's going to be our exit. There was an unexpected event on your route. Manual readjustment of Stay your... Right. Ah, the there's a detour. Right. This exit's probably closed, isn't it? Man, these detours just keep biting us really hard. Alright. Right. As the uh, frame rate drops as well. Ouch. Looks like that truck there had an accident. Um, and I'm about to have an accident. This frame rate doesn't get any better. Okay. Amazing how the game didn't lag hardly at all as we were driving through downtown Salt Lake City. But as soon as we get into Ogden, man, I am losing frames. So we'll take the next exit and we'll, we'll see where the GPS takes us. See, there's these white signs. What is this? 
All trucks use right lane way in motion ahead. Okay. Kenworth dealer discovered. Port of entry. Stay left. Please pull in for an inspection. What is going on? I am confused. Let's see here. We got some traffic building up here. Oh, these are cars trying to get out of the exit only lane. Oh, you idiot! Not real smart. Get out. Go. Shoot. This is for trucks. We'll pull on into the uh, way in motion. Man, we just completely passed by Ogden because of that detour. Well, in the last episode of Truck Simulator, man, um... Detour really screwed us over, except last time it screwed us over at the beginning. Not the end of the episode. The very first exit we had to take, so it was closed. That was... That was not fun, because we had to flip all the way around. Looks like we're going to have to flip all the way around here, too. But that's okay, we get to see just a little extra right. bit of Utah. And it but looks like it we're right. at the end of Interstate 15 right here. So it's telling us we can only go this way. Exit right. So we'll take this exit and we'll flip around. How's that sound? Turn left. Sounds good. Stay what do we left. got going on right up exit here? Left. Me making a left turn. This is a diverging diamond, isn't it? Yep, it is. How neat to see one of these in the game. That's exit pretty left. cool. The Oregon DLC and the Washington DLC had uh, single point intersections. Um, we can bypass this way station. Stay Good, left. I don't want to get weighed again. <laughs> Check out the scenery though around us though. Check that out. That is neat. Exit right. Taking this exit right here. And then we'll take Riverdale Road exit. So let's make an F. Do a really crazy detour. Stay right, and then exit right. Ogden, up ahead here on the right. We'll take this exit right here. For exit right. Riverdale Road, and yeah, this is what I was talking about in Don't Oregon stay. and Washington. This is a, a single point urban intersection or interchange. The entire thing kind of converges together in the middle, and that's... It was really cool seeing those get added to the game. And now, uh... It's sort of sister intersection, I guess, Diverging Diamonds also in Truck Simulator as well. Which is pretty cool to see. As we come up here... In Ogden, right, and our first impressions right. of Utah ends. Thank you all so much for watching for everyone who tuned in. I know this was a little different of a video. Right than what I normally put out. Um, let's see here, can we turn? I'm gonna have to take this turn pretty wide. This is a one heck of a turn. I cannot see a thing. I'm gonna pull out. Ooh! Yeah, remember in the last video when I said mistakes will happen? Well, I just hit a Tesla. <laughs> yeah, ouch, T-boned the guy. Sorry about that. Uh, don't mind if I cut you off though. No, that's not a Tesla. That's a uh... That's like a Chevy. I couldn't see because the mirror was right there. And that shirt turn was so sharp. I guess I could have pulled into the outside view. But still, that was just... A mistake waiting to happen right there. Maybe I... Well, there wasn't even a traffic light either. Oh, I guess there was. Probably could have just waited until the traffic light turned green. Oh well, oh well. Guess I'm getting a little impatient because of that detour. Take a look here at Ogden. Let's see though. A little damage done to the trailer, but no damage done Stay to left. the load itself. So I'd consider that a success. Banged the truck up a little, but... These things can survive. So, right. the plan... Continue straight. For those of you who are... 
still watching this video here, the plan is to, um, Get ready to turn right. make a couple of Utah videos. I have some uh, videos in mind. Not only am I going to do Let's Plays like this, but I'm also going to do my sort of right. full-length drive videos of uh, highways that I, I currently do. So I have one of Interstate finished. 10. I'm going to do some of those in Utah now as well. So that'll be pretty cool. Stay tuned for those. Those are just chill videos where I put on some music and just drive down a certain route in the game. And those are a lot of fun. So I'll do some of those in the future. And we'll also do some more of exploring Utah. Because we just got a, a taste of what the Salt Lake City area is like. And of course there's a whole lot more to the state than just Salt Lake City and Ogden and all this. There's a lot more to see. Um, let's go ahead and see here real fast. We'll pull up the map. Yeah, why not? So you can see the route that today. So there we are in Ogden. We had to flip around really fast, but that's okay. We took Interstate 15 up its entirety to Utah, through Utah. That's pretty cool. There's a lot more to see. There's, um, probably won't go down this area in a video, but... We can go to Vernal over there, Moab, that's supposed to be a really beautiful area. There's also all these routes down here that we can take, take a nice scenic route if we want to. Selena, Price, Provo, lots of lots of different cities here to check out. And since we since we went straight through Salt Lake City, we didn't even get to see most of Salt Lake City, and that right there is the copper mine. That's going to be a fun video. We'll have to do a video headed to the copper mine. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed today's episode. Today's video here, American Truck Simulator. That was a good load, honestly. Finally had our first accident on camera. Uh, that's my bad. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around here. Um, and stay tuned for more Utah videos here on the channel. Thank you all so much for watching. See you guys next time.